Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another Shoutcast game. Here we've got the DBP and Purists having a rematch after the simulation terminated on their last game. Um, although we sort of ended up concluding that Purists did get the win, it did not count towards their ladder as they hoped. And so maybe they're trying to get a complete game this time before a simulation is terminated. Unfortunately a lot lately the simulations have been terminating uh, it's been somewhat annoying. Maybe it's something to do with the, la the latest patch. Maybe it's not. We will see. Commanders are in. Let us delete. Boom! There he goes. Right, so these players... Okay, so down to the south we have the DBP now. Going straight for some energy there. And way up in the north, we have Purus. So these planes have started on almost opposite sides of the planet now. Though Purus has spawned by an absolute abundance of metal right there. The DBP does have a few in the surrounding area, but they do have a walk to get to them. So we'll uh, see that change over time in terms of their build up strategy. Purus going straight for the typical Mex energy. Max Max Factory now. Maybe enough maybe even a fourth max or even a fifth max while they're at it, because they can assume, given the size of this planet, that the spawn is likely not to be too near. So maybe they're going to take that at, uh, as an advantage and go straight for some earlier economy. Indeed we do see the fourth metal going up. Possibly even a fifth, although at this point I would recommend getting a factory. Indeed it is, and it is going to be a vehicle factory going up right there for Purifs. DBP meanwhile is also building a vehicle factory, although they haven't quite gone for the same level of economy. That is unfortunate because they did have to walk a little bit of a way to get to their first uh, production. But that vehicle factory is going to go up first and get things going out earlier. And this one has got some fabricators building already. The commander probably going to run around, maybe building a second one. No going for some more energy there, because that would be really wise in terms of uh, giving economic viability to the production from that factory and uh, providing support for further factories later on. DBP, meanwhile, building some more energy over here. Fabricators going to go and uh, build some more metal over at that end. Whereas up north we do see a lot of energy, a lot of metal and some more fabricators coming out now. So both players sort of going for similar builds although Purus has got a slight economic advantage because of the spawn there although the DBP is able to expand now and claim all of those extra metal sites for their own. Which is of great advantage to them. Getting even more fabricators out now from the DBP. And the same from Purus, who now has four fabricators. The fourth is being built, but is just about to be finished now. We'll probably see these players sort of expanding in all sorts of different directions. The DBP probably going more of a northwardly expansion because of the uh, proximity to metal there, and even an air factory going up soon, to maybe to get some fireflies out to get some scouting around this planet. Purus, however, can probably expand in a sort of localized region now around these mountains because of this metal sites here and over here, and then maybe begin to expand south to these ones. This metal going to continue to be produced now, along with these energy and the second vehicle factory now maybe beginning to produce some ants. We do see a skitter being produced now, so that will also provide them their early intel, hopefully onto uh, where the spawn of the DBP is with relative haste. Who meanwhile has built their first ant and indeed their second as well, so uh, maybe if they're going to use those for scouts or early game defence. Especially after last game, maybe the DBP wants to focus on uh, getting some more factories up, especially considering Purifs had good, in, well into double figures in terms of their factory numbers. The Skitter going in completely the wrong direction here, but uh, it 
does provide intel that they aren't down here, so that means they can sort of expand a little bit to these metal regions now. Let's get to going to fork around and down across here, across all of these metal sites, and then down and around here, and they are going to find them now. Meanwhile, more ants are going to be produced, even a firefly there from the DBP, who is now going to get a faster scouting ability uh, because of the air mobility and movement speed. There it goes, straight off onto a scouting path there. The firefly probably going to fork all the way around here, maybe even coming up now. In fact, no, nope, going back on itself, doing a sort of squiggle probably until they find that. They might even see the skitter over there and then conclude, oh, there is no one in a nearby region. Going to fork back up and around and eventually get the uh, scouting on here. Here we go. There we go. The DBP does now know where Purus has spawned, where their commander is, what they have built and can now start factoring that into their equation. They can see the four vehicle factories and the air factory going up. So maybe now they will be encouraged to build even more vehicle factories than before and they will begin after this metal site to maybe form an established defensive line up here to do, in order to defend against any potential attacks from Purifs. The skitter are also in the bottom of the base just hacking away at this metal site before it is dropped dead by that bumblebee. But now both players know where the spawns are and can begin to factor that into their military strategies. The commander just forking around here you can see quite simply that uh, Purus has gone with their energy in a very quick non really uh, too much care in uh, the way they do that but to get that uh, build order out rapidly so that they can focus on other things there. This metal now going to expand over here while the ants are going to continue to build up lots of metal now for the DBP they can really begin to uh, get a lot of factories produced and they should really hurry in doing so. There's another one being built right now. But with all of this metal they can really get a lot of factories out. They might even want to begin producing a little bit more energy, this they are doing there with that fabricator, maybe even producing even more after that. It'll be interesting to see where the players decide to go for frontal assaults or maybe even forking around the planet and to the back, especially considering around the back is where um, most of the econ for Purifs is actually at, along with all of their factories right now. Still no defensive lines being established to either side now. Just continued econ expansion from both players, utilizing that huge amount of movement space between them. These ants are going to begin to walk up though and just say hello, but uh, they are going to meet with a sticky end because there are already a lot of ants in pure space because of this huge amount of vehicle factories now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicle factories and two air factories, indeed, eighth vehicle factory now being produced. So that is already a lot from Purus. So we're going to see a lot of ant spam on that side. These ants here are going to sit and wait, losing their time advantage every second they delay. But again, you can't really do much in a group of three, which is why the DBP finds it necessary to build another ant factory, which is a good idea for them in every sense of the way. Continued bumblebees now going to go up. They know where the commander was building their energy before so maybe they'll begin to fork round now and drop some on the commander but they will get taken out by these ants which is a little bit unfortunate. One goes down, the second one goes down and the third one should probably decide nope I do not want to do that and he does. He is running away now. He has seen that there's a lot of ants in this base, and there's a lot of ants moving down the back actually. So maybe they're going to be forking round and across here to uh, really put the f pressure on the flank. But that is where a small group of ants now are, but uh, not enough to defend against that line that was moving out. A reasonably evenly pitched battle, but uh, we'll have to see. And here comes an advanced vehicle factory now, so some early levelers out from both teams now. 
the DBP and Purifs. So uh, the advantages there are pretty identical at the same time, continuing to be a balanced game right now, although somewhat in the advantage of Purifs again because of their advantage with so many factories producing ants all at the same time. A load stuck in the pathfinding here. Maybe you want to get some of these moving and uh, localizing into armies. There they go right now, starting to uh, form their ranks. Dividing all of these ants up into various different groups now. And here's a defensive line right here. You are going to want to build some walls along with those. Um, and some uh, hum hummingbirds now just going to go and get a little bit of uh, scouting. Seeing where the weaks and strengths are. Weeks, weaknesses and strengths are in uh, the defensive lines. So other ones being produced on all sorts of angles now, just the odd um, tower being built in every sort of region, being able to defend against all forms of different attack paths. These ants are vastly outnumbered now um, because of their superior production value and hugely superior econ now from Purith who is expanding to all sorts of metal sites and has a bunch more energy than uh, the DBP. Who is continuing to expand this time round, which is good to see, but uh, I still believe that Purus might have the upper hand there. Depends on how long these different regions can be held, especially given that you've got ants on all, all sides now. So they will really begin to put pressure on all fronts, and uh, the DBP has an easier spawn to an extent um, because you can almost sort of localize it around this area and sort of have an easier method of actually seeing where your base is whereas here you have borders with the sea and all sorts of different choke points there you could have an army coming in from here you can have one coming in from here you can have one coming in from here taking out this metal now hummingbirds just going to go around see whoop there's no defensive line here these ants are going to all conglomerate and push right in through here. The commander is going to get stuck out in the open, especially if he moves that way. Indeed he is. The skitter sees, yep, there is nothing wrong here. There are going to be more vehicle factories produced, although they are going to be a little bit too late. They have got a level around now, which is good. But uh, the same can also be said for Purit, whose uh, all of their vehicles now are heading for one spot by the look of it apart from your, your expeditionary forces in the back, and in fact, no, they are all going to come around here, maybe go for a huge flank now, swooping straight past these defensive lines that are going up way too slowly. Tier 2 energy, um, really going to focus their economy on that and lose out on their production speed while they maintain that uh, building. All of these now are going to swoop round through here and really do a huge amount of damage to this uh, econ field right here and even the tier 2 uh, vehicle factory. Though there is another one being produced, it was uh, paused, but uh, even so focusing down on that energy is going to put a huge strain on the economy. And even so we can see that the factory numbers are still vastly in uh, purest favour along with all that production value. What you really want to do is maybe set some rally points so that you don't have just ants blobbed everywhere in your base and uh, maybe have them all ready for you for when and where you need them. Skitter now going to come down here and see, yep, there is absolutely no defense in the middle of their base now and these ants are just going to form almost a single file line now and just move down and then cut straight in right in the back of the DBP's base and he is going to have something of a surprise coming his way. And they come now, sweeping across. And uh, these is really going to put strain on the DBP, who has not got the military to counter this. They're all at the wrong end of the base, which is really misfortunate. Um, unfortunate, in fact. And these are now going to just going to rampage through the uh, south of the DBP's base, taking out everything they can. There's a small group of ants, but they are not going to do a huge amount of damage, um, although they might be able to if uh, this group here is just going to be focused on all of these buildings. Uh, 
we are going to take out all of the econ fields up here and uh, these ants are going to want to move down or they're going to want to go in for a base trade one of the two they need to start moving very soon every second that passes is a second lost in this instance all the air factory is going to continue to be pounded at all the econ gone as the units split up doing the maximum amount of damage possible and uh, we'll probably begin to see some levelers moving down. They are going to meet this defensive line here. And they're probably going to want to... Uh... <laughs> With IGN. Okay. <laughs> These levelers are now going to take out all of those uh, defensive line laser towers there. And they're going to sweep through again and just take out all of this uh, energy and the DBP's units did suicide for some reason um, that is something of a huge bit of bad luck right there unfortunately I didn't catch that uh, maybe if Chronocam will work I'm not sure whether it will indeed it will not I don't know why my Chronocam doesn't work Uh, maybe we'll have a look when the match is over but uh, I'm still a bit new to Chrono Cam Alpha is Alpha of course his ends are going to sweep through here there's going to be a metal site that just manages to survive and I do believe that is the commander just dead there maybe even suicided because there were no units in the region and I think maybe that was uh, a sort of GG from the DBP who was somewhat fed up after those units managed to suicide themselves um, so we'll have to look further into that but that is a win to Purus um, for the time being look at the huge expanse of base up here lots and lots of factories this is exactly what you want to see a lot of expansion a lot of factories a lot of production and a good sweeping tactic and a flank that is undefended thank you again for watching folks and have a nice day